receiver breaks his number 15 down to a mere 35 miles an hour on the turn into Watkins Glen. Then Vile and the others pick up speed to 75 miles an hour along the village street. Weaver passes 43 to gain a lap on him. Fred Coster in 93 is the man to watch. He's running strong in third place behind Vile. Weaver's averaging close to 65 miles an hour. The record for this Queen Captain race in a speed of 63.62 set by Roland Keith. Red Coster in 93 ran second to Keith in last year's race. It's easier sailing for Weaver away from the pack, but it's never smooth sailing over the railroad track. It takes skill to do this. Miles hold on second plate is being threatened by Coster in 93. Coster is driving an HRG. Down there we see Weaver in the white car being pressed again by the hard driving Vile. Weaver's fancy lead has evaporated. And at the railroad track, Vile is again smelling Weaver's smoke. This is the bump short for Vile. And for every other car, pressing to the utmost on every curve. These pits are anxious places, and in comes Dick Jett in 26. A discouraging time to stop. Number 33, who got off last, is still in there. Dick Jett pulls back into the race. That was a short stop. And Koppel in 93 is going strong, too. Still running third. His time is averaging better than 60 miles an hour. 24 isn't going badly, either. But the leaders are too far ahead of him to catch. Look at Weaver go. Number 24 still hopes to improve his position, or at least to keep Weaver and 15 from lapping him. Weaver. They race down the grade into Watkins Glen and into the sharp curve. 93 keeps his spot in third place. Dick Jett in 26 has tried hard, but he has to pit again. This really puts him out of the running as the rugged race nears its end. And number 24 continues to improve his standing. Koppel gets the white flag. One lap to go. Stops to report something on the court. Weaver's taking the curve carefully on this last round. Number 24 is back in the race, but his chances are poorer than ever. They're taking the curve pretty fast now. Somebody's off the road and in the trees. The race almost over, too. The crowd gathers to see the excitement and learn that Tony Pompeo in number 33 is okay, but a bit nervous. The car is badly bent, but it's not beyond repair. A real sportsman, the driver of number four, stops to be sure that Pompeo is okay. Here comes the winner, George Weaver, in his Jupiter. He's averaged 68.95 miles per hour. 